and welcome back to Visit Fowl Coast Marine. It's sunny Fleetwood this morning. It's a lovely morning in April. It's a bit blustery, but it's always blustery. We've always got plenty of wind. And we're going to go on a little walk around the streets of Fleetwood with somebody that can talk just as much as me. We're going to go and have a look with Christian Fenn, who is the street artist that's been painting everywhere. And we are going to go and have a look at his big heart project which is launched in conjunction with his pal, Hayley Gardner. Um, so we're going to go and see what he's got to say. He's standing here, look behind me on this corner. Um, so before we get off, make sure that you've hit the little bell for notifications and make sure that you subscribe to the Visit File Coast email newsletter. Right, let's go, and, let's go and talk to the man himself. So here he is, waiting to be, waiting to be interrogated by that, by that vicious, that vicious woman. So this is one of his pieces of artwork up here look only in fleetwood the landlady's race as we move around that corner you'll be able to see the rest of it in the teapot and that's a that's a story about fleetwood so christian so christian your big heart project you are transforming towns one mural at a time you've been working in cleveland's yeah. you've done us that fabulous great big mural in the bus station and the one in jubilee gardens and you've got a plan to cover all of Fleetwood with walls. Yeah, ten walls to be Ten so. walls? Yeah, ten. Um, because street art can transform spaces in the people that live there. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I think it has a, has a really positive effect on the, on the people, communities and the environment. Definitely, yeah. I would agree. Um, so we're going to go and we're going to go and take a look and we're going to go and see where you're wanting to paint and what you're wanting to do. It's gone all quiet now. <laughs> Normally I can't get away in edgeways and that's saying something for me. Put the camera on me and I shut up. <laughs> that's the way to keep me Now we know what to do when we're having a meeting. <clears throat> so you and Hayley have started a project called the Butterfly Effected. Yeah, yeah, that's a, it's a, a community interest company which uses art as a vehicle to spread hope and positivity. Um, and some of your butterflies actually appear on our wall in Jubilee Gardens in Cleveland. Yeah. And we're going to be adding to that. We're going to be adding to that in August. So if you want to paint your own butterfly, um, you, can, you can come along to our event. But this is all about Fleetwood. And the question that people have asked is, why Fleetwood? Uh, well, as you can see, I've done a few, a few murals, murals here. And when we did this one, uh, the response was awesome. You know, from the, from the locals, people seem to really really get behind it and we um, me and Hayley wanted to put, wanted to put something together for a while and we just, we just needed to find the spot but being local to the area and seeing how kind of I think Fleetwood's kind of in some ways we tread carefully but in some ways forgotten um, and I think it needs it need something and it also needs something to bring the people back because it used to be like a thriving like, yeah. tourist area yeah. so we know street art has the power to do this so why not Fleetwood? So that's what you're going to do. Because every time you or another street artist rocks up with your cans of spray paint and starts doing something like this big piece behind us, it creates such a positive feeling of sort of, I don't know, happiness and enthusiasm that kind of ripples all the way across the town and everybody oh, comes out. Us. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and everybody comes out looking, looking yeah. and taking pictures and tagging it and photographing it and sharing it all over the place. Yeah, it's, um, it, has, it has that knock-on effect. And it, it's like, um, kind of contagious, is that the word? Yeah, that absolutely. Word? Yeah, and um, But not in a, in a COVID no, in a, kind of way. Not in a COVID <laughs> kind of way. But this is, this is another reason why we need to do this, because it, like, COVID's kind of changed a lot of things and we need to, we need that, that like, fire reignite, you know, from yeah, before COVID. Yeah, absolutely. So it brings people together, gets people talking, enhances the environment and, uh, and has a positive impact. So you're crowdfunding for the project and you've got a variety of different walls to pick at and this right above your head that's grown out of the top of your top of your hair at the minute this one is one of your walls and this one over here this one over here on the side of the Atherton's carpet building this is another one um, so you, you, you're crowdfunding we're going to go and have a look at some of the the different sites that you potentially might be painting at. So anybody that's wondering where we are, that's the Health and Wellbeing Centre at the bottom of the road there, and that's Dock Street that runs across there. The, the town centre is just at the back of us. So you're crowdfunding. You're trying to raise money for the pilot piece. And as we're filming this in the middle of April, you're over halfway there. 
Yeah, over halfway there, yeah. Still, oh, that's still, excellent. Still a long way to go, but um, I think that's the same with all crowdfunders. It starts yeah. off and then you get that, yeah. that bit of a lull and then... The momentum like, yeah, grows you get and the, you get yeah. your money in, yeah. Um, so you and Hayley are going to paint the first wall yeah, and in the pilot think, project. Yeah, I think that's going to be, well, that's going to be like a community engagement, you know, yeah. vastly... Uh, inspired by the community and what they want because obviously it's their piece so, yeah uh, and know, their they, town yeah their town um so that's going to be a bit different to the other ones but still in the same vein you know it's community yeah. driven um and then we'll get obviously we'll get onto the rest of them how and then you get actually. onto the rest of them as and when and that's a very big wall that's going to take some painting if you do what? that one yeah uh, there's nothing like setting yourself up i mean that one's enormous as well this one over here it's, it's, we call it wall porn. Wall porn. Everyone's looking at houses and cars. <laughs> and the street eyes, we're looking at walls. We're we're, we're going going right. Well, I've also met you've smittled does because we're doing the same thing. Yeah, everyone's doing. We keep, we keep driving around Cleveland saying, oh, that's a good wall. We could set Christian on that one. <laughs> all we all need is a big bucket full of money. That's it. Yeah, that's always the... So if you, if you want to see this project come to Fleetwood and you want to see it actually happen and you want to contribute to the crowdfunder, all you need to do is to go on to the Space Hive website. So it's spacehive.com forward slash the big heart project. And I'll drop that. I'll drop that in the uh, description as well underneath yeah. the video. And then if anybody wants to contribute, they can do. And the thing is about Fleetwood, because of the architecture, there are gable ends all over the place. There's walls all over and he's, he's, he's framing them all up, look, for... For murals. Here's another gable end. Here's another gable end. And the pink one, just at the back of the van, down there. Where's the van? There. That one's a sealed deal, so that one has already been negotiated and permissioned. So this one, this pink one that I pointed out, it's a Bobby Dazzler, that one. That's probably going to be one of the first walls that they paint, because that's a sealed deal. Um, and this is Blakiston Street which of course is the home of the world famous Rimmer's Parched Peas. Presume you know all about Rimmer's Parched Peas, don't you? I know all about the landlady's tea race one, which is up there, <laughs> same street. Oh yeah! Street. You see, this is where I get lost. <laughs> this is where I get lost and confused because the landlady's tea race is down there. Still <laughs> on Mount Street is another great big wall. Look at that sky! We've picked a lovely morning, even if it is windy. So, Christian, have you got any kinds of themes in mind for these pieces of work? Yeah, the theatre. So, what we're going to do, we're going to each of the artists is going to work with, or the, the idea or the theme will come from a service like based in Fleetwood. So, right, okay. Yeah, so you've got things such as. Um, We've not homelessness and, yeah, so got, and drug yeah. rehabilitation and mental health yeah. and all Without that kind of stuff. Without mentioning the actual services, yeah. yeah. Um, women's aid, that kind of, that kind of yeah. things. Yeah. And um, yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna do workshops. So it comes as a package. We're gonna do the workshops on the ground with local artists as well. Yeah. Um, gather the information of positive stories, similar to what we do as the butterfly affected. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and with and we're gonna create them stories and the positive outcome into a piece of artwork. Right. You won't in the same kind of way that you did that wall in Kirkham, yeah, yeah, where you work, where you work with all the community to decide what you wanted in yeah, your exactly artwork, like and then your piece came out at the end of it. Yeah, because that one in Kirkham is a is a big wall, similar to that, isn't it? Yeah. Perhaps yeah. a bit taller, maybe. We, we, we love them, and then on, when we get up the scaffold or on the the cherry picker, we're like, what we've done. <laughs> you see, I'd be jumping off. Yeah. I'd be, I, you get me up a cherry picker up there. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine me up here? And I'd be saying, I'm going to jump. <laughs> We're not that bad. <laughs> so perhaps don't, don't invite me along. No, we, we um, I say the... Uh... That would be amazing, though, if there were all different different sort of stories of positivity and encouragement and whatnot. Yeah, well, so the, so the idea is, so with people's stories, like we're trying to show... Um, show that the kind of labels and raise awareness of different kind of topics yeah you know, you know, in, in like um yeah especially which are quite relevant these days like mental health and yeah uh trauma abuse so obviously the stories can go quite dark so we're not going to paint like a dark mural you're not going to have like a yeah. black hole on a wall yeah um the story you probably from the story you won't be able to see you won't be able to pick the artwork 
related to the story until you scan the QR code. Right, I So see. the artwork will come from that. We're looking at it, you're going to see a bright, vibrant wall. Yeah. So uh, every every piece of artwork is going to be positive with yeah. a positive message. But then Brilliant. If, you, if you delve into the story and scan the QR code... You can find out what's yeah. at the back of it. So there's substance at the back of every... Yeah, every piece. Of every it. piece. Brilliant. And this is another signed, sealed and delivered road. This is, this is Wormsley Street. And, and a bit more blue sky look, and that's a beautiful wall to be painting, that one. And you'll know where we are, because that's the Mount Pub that had the fire in the in the roof a while ago, and that's been renovated as well. So what do you need next, Christian? I mean, obviously, you need people to support the crowdfunder. Yeah. You need yeah, the money. So we need, we've got a lot of people who are already behind us. Um, I think it's just explaining it. I mean, this, this vlog will Getting the message out. More, yeah, yeah. Um, and what we're actually doing. So... We need, uh, obviously, the backing of the people, which we're getting, backing of the businesses, uh, money for the crowdfunder, please. Please. <laughs> Not begging. And, um, well, you've then, got your cob, you could just give that a rattle, couldn't you? We'll put some two peas in it. <laughs> um, yeah, and then after that, it's, it's just general support. I mean, there's a lot of people uh, volunteering, saying, what can I do? Yeah. At the minute, it's just, we'll get the crowdfunder stage out of the way, get the people in, I mean, if it's just a pound, two pound, whatever, yeah. um, chipping in. Um, it's more about the numbers, you yeah. know, showing it's on the community yeah. wants it. You've had some really, you know, really um, generous, you know, generous donations, generous pledges. Um, I won't go through. I won't mention no. one because I'll end up mentioning. Them, have to mention them all. No, no, um, but, no. Uh, but thank you for that. Already. Because large and small, they're all as valuable as yeah, each other. Yeah, yeah, and it's and it just shows. But there's a lot of people really, especially like businesses who've been around for for many years, who you know they, they believe in the town. They've seen they've seen how the town's changed over the years, and. Uh, and they understand what we're doing, you know, we've been yeah. at, at meetings with them, we've yeah. explained it in more, in more detail. We've <coughs> spoken to people and they've understood what we're actually doing. Um, from the ground up, from like grassroots up, we're, 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 we're going to do workshops with the kids, hopefully inspire the kids. We're going to be uh, changing the face of the town, lifting the environment and inspiring with positive change, you know, just lifting it. Yeah, because the thing about street art, which if you're not a follower of street art, you might not appreciate it, is that quite a lot of these names that you're planning to get, I mean even yourself, I, I bow to your, no. I bow to your superiority <laughs> sir, um, but a lot of these names that you're talking about bring into Fleetwood and, and, and different walls that you've selected is that they've got millions of followers yeah. who will travel from far and wide to come and look at the work that they're creating. So that in itself is going to be a tourism driver, which is going to help the regeneration of the town by all the people that are encouraged to come and visit to look at the work. Yeah, that's well, that's the bigger picture. That's the, the, the biggest part. Of and the that's picture. the gist of it. Yeah, so that's like, um, so on the grassroots, we're on the ground, you know, we're working with the, with the, the locals here, the kids and, and the, the people, local people in the community on the bigger picture to regenerate the town and bring in the, the tourism and attract attention. Um, that is like the, 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 the biggest goal of it yeah. so what so some of the street artists we work with, I mean you know the, the amount of numbers they've got on the on the social media and the followers, they have I don't know, up to a million followers. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, and it's a coming, it's a really big thing. Yeah, yeah, it's very The proud. actual yeah. event itself when they're actually doing the work and then afterwards yeah. it creates a, a long lasting effect long after yeah. it's finished. Yeah. So if if you've got people come in to follow all these social media stars they're all going to be staying in local hotels, they're going to be spending in local shops, they're going to be um, eating in local restaurants and pubs. And of course, there's all that beautiful seafront down yeah. there as well. You get, to, you get to see the beauty of Fleetwood, yeah. Uh, just putting into the local economy and lifting it, which should have a knock-on effect with people um, investing their own money into the, yeah. like, into the shops and um, yeah. the high street and in the local area. So. Uh, build B &B's. it and they will come. Yeah, build it and they will come, yeah. Build it and they will come. That's your that's your um, sign off that, isn't it? From far and wide. And if you're lost, if you're as lost as I am, I, I know where I am going that way because that, as I said, the Mount Hotel. Yeah, so the Marine Hall much. and the seafront is all down there. If we go this way, oh goodness me, I'm going to need breadcrumbs to find my way back to the car. So it's all online at your website, which is thebigheartproject.com yeah. um, you can donate at spacehive.com slash thebigheartproject and if you want to know anything else you can drop a comment underneath um, or you can message me and I'm sure he'll be able to answer you and reply to you directly follow him on social media as well Christian Fenn or Seeker One Seeker underscore one are you Seeker you're not Seeker yeah and um, Alo underscore Nomad so that's on, that's on Instagram. Um, 
thebigheartproject.com and thebutterflyaffected.org. Yes, super. Well, thank you ever so much. That's been really interesting. And it certainly made a lot more sense to me as well now, and I'm sure everybody in Fleetwood will um, really enjoy this project when it starts taking off. So thanks for that, Christian. Thank you. And we'll see you soon thank when you're painting you. with the kind of paint in your hand. <laughs> thank you. Right, yes, if I.